What's happening? Oh really? Half and half? Yes. Some are still still saying like why is she peach? Some are saying that it's good, it's good to know that she's peach. Hey, this is Korean Revolution. Yeah, this will definitely be in the past. The first time in South Korea's history as a democracy, the country's president is being removed from office. In the past hour, the Constitutional Court has ruled that the impeachment of Park Geun-hye should be confirmed. She is embroiled in a corruption scandal. She may now face a criminal trial on 13 counts, including soliciting bribes and allowing a close friend to profit from her connections with the presidency. Actually, during three of her term's biggest controversies. And it's, it's exciting to be a part of this, but I also feel a bit of hesitation because I'm an outsider. So I'm excited to see what this is like, and hopefully to be able to kind of share in solidarity with Korea. So, let's see what happens. president in the country, and maybe more importantly, the daughter of their third president, Park Chung-hee. Park Chung-hee was a militaristic dictator that seized power by a coup in 1961. He was elected in 1963 and reigned until his assassination in 1979. His time as president saw highly authoritarian rule, a new constitution, and uh, questionable policies such as rounding up homeless, placing them in camps, and using them as free labor, with many people dying under harsh conditions, and even reports of torture. Park Chun-hee's legacy is incomplete, if you don't include the massive, unbelievable economic growth that he pushed that helped Korea become the global economic power that it is today. During his presidency, his wife, Park Chun-hee's mother, was assassinated. Now, here's where it gets interesting. At that time, a shaman claimed that he was able to channel the spirit of her dead mother. And that shaman and his family stayed with the Park family until this year, when it was found out that the shaman's daughter had been influencing Park Ane in state affairs. And this isn't her only crime, but the discovery of the daughter's influence led to Park Ane stepping down in December and ultimately being impeached unanimously by the Constitutional Court. Friday. Many Koreans whom I've talked to have sounded as though they're deeply ashamed of this kind of public exposure for their country, that this kind of weird shamanistic thing has brought attention to their country. And I get that, I do. But I think what's way bigger is how this was exposed. This was exposed by investigative journalism and peaceful protest and it has shown the people of Korea and the world the power of peaceful protest and justice to bring down corruption and it's been so cool to be a part of this piece of history in Korea <laughs> 